My Chemical Romance is back with a brand new album, Danger Days, The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys, coming out November 22nd. And these gamers are also stoked to have their song Planetary Go picked as the opening track for Gran Turismo 5. I met up with the band in LA to get their impressions on the game and to find out if the rockers enjoyed crashing the cars more than racing them. What did you guys think when you found out that you'd be in the opening scene of Gran Turismo 5? I mean, in the video game world, that is huge. Yeah, it's such a huge game, and they've obviously been perfecting it for years, and I remember when the first one came out. You know, it's like a big deal, like when a big sports game or something comes out. Everybody's waiting for, for Gran Turismo. It sounds like you guys knew a little bit about the franchise then, before this collaboration came about. Yeah, what's really crazy is, when the first Gran Turismo came out, I worked at a video game store. Oh! Yeah, I remember coming out and it was a huge deal, and me and my manager at the time would play it all the time at the store. Yeah, it was fun. When we found out we were the main song at the top, we were like super thrilled. Planetary is a really special song. Which I, I guess the best way to explain that song is to kind of uh, give you a taste of how we recorded it, which is to say the lights were dim, it was 2 a.m., there was a strobe light going off, and everybody in the studio was pogoing while we were making the song. <laughs> when we first heard, we got on a CD, I think driving really fast to that song, it felt right. Yeah. So, like, when we were, like, thinking, like, oh, man, like, we did a video, like, they just, like, just you're just in a car like that, all the metal, like, going. Yeah. And the fact that now it's in a game where you can do that, Pretty badass. That's pretty awesome. You know, I mean, we're huge video game fans, obviously. I think a lot of bands are these days, though, which is cool. Um, but yeah, it was a huge honor. Very excited because we like driving fast now. That's kind of our new <laughs> thing. So it works with our new vibe. You guys got a little bit of time with the game. What'd yes. you think? Yeah, yeah, we got to play oh, so much fun. Yeah, it's really great. So much yeah, they fun. get better and better. It's really beautiful looking, and um, it, it handles really great. It's challenging, but it doesn't feel like too hard, you know, which I love. Um, I felt like if we had played it for another half hour, we would have got a little better, not crashing into so many things, but <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's so imposing that you're never going to get it, you know? And the cars look beautiful, which is the most important thing. Like, they look great. You only got a small sampling of the cars that are in the full roster. What were some of your favorites? Um, well, for, yeah, for me, vet, my right? uh, I have a '69 vet, and that was that's the one that Frank chose to play, yeah. and it looks I mean it looks just like it. It's amazing. It even kind of you know I noticed it even kind of handles like it. Because I know like I'll never, I, you'll never let me drive. Well, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> <that's good. laughs> you'd knock something off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd say I'd say from just right off the bat that one. I'm gonna be driving a lot. It's almost like you get to test drive the car in the game, and then you're like, oh, I'm, well. If, not to have money for it, but yeah. I'll try to yeah, get that car. <laughs> you were thinking about getting the SLS AMG, yeah, but you oh, wanted to see how it handled. That car is exciting. That yeah, car so is very you, exciting. you drive that car? I right? drove that car, yeah. It's 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 pretty beautiful. You I was first for a little while. I was, yeah, yeah, instantly in first with that in first place with that car. <laughs> Gran Turismo feels um, uh, more engaging in the realism, you know, um, but not not the kind of realism that it didn't feel like I was in a driving course lesson or anything like it wasn't the DMV yeah, it was you know like a simulator like. <laughs> yeah it was like super fun while at the same time being a bit more realistic which was great and all the cars like handle completely differently and it's like that's that's a lot of work that you have to put into that you know I was noticing the cobblestone uh, speedway hmm. and you could see the sun kind of glint off every single bump on them and obviously the cars which are why we come to the game is for the cars they, that attention to detail. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. While realism has always been a Gran Turismo staple, GT5 is the first one to show damage modeling. That means seeing every dent, scratch, and ding as you careen around the track. Would you say you guys play more for the fun of racing or seeing the cars get banged up and damaged? It's, it's a little both, yeah, right? 50, yeah, 50, 50, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you just want to smash them. <laughs> so that's really fun. When you get in a really amazing car wreck, they, the worse it is, the more I laugh because you're just like, oh my god, it's so dead. That was, that been, there's no way I'd be making out of it. You're not only contributing a song, but you guys also designed some racing suits. Oh, yeah. For Grand yeah. Turismo. Yeah. Tell me so about that. Awesome. That was super fun. Well, a lot of what went in, as I'm sure, went, obviously went into, into Grand Turismo, um, how much how much attention to detail there was with, with the cars and everything. And uh, that same attention to detail went into our costumes, let's call them. So when we got the opportunity, uh, Matt Taylor, who's the graphic designer, who's joined at my hip, and we kind of like all do this stuff together, uh, 
he was so excited. He's like, oh my God, we get to do a racing outfit. And so uh, we have a lot of the spirit of the record and there's some of our own made up companies on the patches and uh, the good luck over the visor, which is obviously from his helmet. So there's little bits of every guy on, on there. When you guys were first starting out, did you ever think you would be part of an international video game franchise? No, I mean, I didn't, no, definitely not. I, I think uh, we didn't even know if we were going to be an international band. Like hearing your band referred to as an international band is like a crazy thing. And it's obviously a huge honor to be involved in anything that's international, like and, and meant for the world to enjoy. Well, we can't wait to hear Planetary Go. And good luck with the album and Thank the tour you. and everything. Thanks so much, you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. This is great.